So Samsung has started updating their older generation Galaxy devices to One UI 4.1. I just got the update on my S10 Plus and I thought I'd make a video and show you guys some of the best new features the One UI 4.1 update brings from the brand new S22 series onto these older generation Galaxy devices. Also I've yet to receive the update on my Note 20 Ultra and the Note 10 Plus so whenever the update arrives on these phones I will make a video about it. Anyways let's start. This update brings smart widgets from the S22 series and this feature allows you to combine two or more widgets into a single widget and you can swipe left and right to see all of the widgets that are combined onto a single one and this kind of allows you to save space on the home screen. Now to add a smart widget on the home screen, pinch in and then tap on widgets. Then expand the smart widget panel and pick one from over here. For demonstration, let's add this to our home screen. So here's the thing, before you can start using the widget, you actually have to configure it. So long press and then tap on settings. From here, you can add more widgets by tapping on the plus button and selecting one from this list. Or remove the widget modules by long pressing one of these. You can even change their order. And lastly, you can also configure individual widgets by tapping each one of these. So yeah, these are the new smart widgets and they allow you to combine multiple widgets into a single one. And this way you can save a lot of space and reduce clutter on the home screen. You can now blur the background in any photo which has got a face in it. And this new feature is called portrait effect. So in the gallery, open a photo which has got a face in it and then tap on these three dots and you will see a new feature which says add portrait effect. And using this feature, you can give the photo that DSLR-like background blur. Looks awesome, right? Now, there is another feature in the gallery which turns scenic photos into a 24-hour time-lapse video. It's mentioned here in the One UI 4.1 changelog. So it says, turn a picture into a vivid 24-hour time-lapse video. A button will appear for pictures of scenery including sky, etc, etc. But the problem is, this feature does not work on the S10 Plus. So let me demonstrate. So here I've got my S21 Plus and check this out. We've got the same photo open on both of these devices and the S21 Plus shows a little icon and if I tap on this icon, the phone will turn the photo into a 24 hour time lapse video, which looks really really cool. So yeah, no matter what I do, this button does not appear on the S10 Plus. Um, not sure what's going on here. Uh, if anyone can get this feature to work on their S10 Plus, let me know in the comments below. You might already be familiar with a feature called RAM Plus. So this feature enables you to use a part of the internal storage as the RAM. And to access this feature, drop down the notification panel and go to settings. Scroll down to battery and device here, then tap on memory. The thing that's new in One UI 4.1 is the ability to manually select how much virtual memory we want the phone to use. So now you can select from 2 gigabytes all the way up to 8 gigabytes. Very useful for low end smartphones that do not have a lot of RAM. Now on the home screen, if we pinch in, then go to wallpaper and style, then color palette, you will notice that this section has been redesigned. So the color palette allows you to change the phone's theme according to the colors in the wallpaper. So the thing is, it is the exact same thing but it's been redesigned and now it looks a lot better than it used to. But the functionality is exactly the same. So now let's go to the settings and scroll down to the advanced features. And inside here, if you scroll down, you will see a new feature called smart suggestions. And this feature will suggest you certain actions based on what you are doing. Let me demonstrate on the S22 Ultra because my S10 Plus does not have a SIM card in it. Alright, so you can see there is a text message here and it's got a date for someone's birthday party. Now, we can tap on the date and add this event to our calendar directly from the messaging app itself. There is no need to manually enter the dates, the phone will do it for you. Quite amazing, right? And this is just a small example, this also works in Samsung Keyboard, Smart Widgets, Reminder and also the calendar. Okay, so now let's go into the accessibility settings. So let's get back out of here, scroll down and tap on accessibility, then tap on hearing enhancements. 
and if you scroll down you will notice a new option which allows you to adjust the audio balance for the connected device such as if you have a bluetooth headset connected previously we only had this for the phone's internal speaker so this is another new feature and the final thing that i have noticed is that you can now share the wi-fi network password over quickshare so let's go into the wi-fi settings tap on the gear icon for the wireless network that we are connected to and then press on the QR code button and here you will see a new option which allows you to share the Wi-Fi password and the name over QuickShare. One more thing that I've noticed is that if you select something in a web page, you now get an option which says add to note and if you tap, the phone will create a new note and add the highlighted text along with the link to the web page into a new note. So this is actually a very useful feature. However, this feature only works with Samsung Internet and I could not get this to work with Google Chrome. So keep that in mind. But still, this is an extremely useful feature. Okay, so now let's fire up the camera and go into the AR zone because they have added a new feature to the AR emoji. So in AR emoji, you now get the option to change the background in the mask mode. Previously, this option was only available in the scene mode. And now you've got this in the mask mode. So that is a nice addition. So let's go back into the AR zone and launch the AR emoji sticker creator. So this thing also has seen a little update. So now if you edit your sticker, you will be able to add animated GIFs from the Tenor service. You know what, I think we already had this option on One UI 4, but they have specifically mentioned this change in the change log. So yeah, must be new. So this is how you add animated GIFs to your stickers. Oh, and this update also includes that new game optimization service, and this should fix the performance issues with third-party applications. Now, I don't think you have to do anything extra after the update, and if you are wondering, you can access the game optimization settings from the game launcher. So open game launcher, tap on more, and then game booster. Here you've got the optimization setting. So it is already set to performance. Okay, so I guess that's pretty much all there is to it guys. There are some extra features available, but I think I have covered the main highlights of One UI 4.1. Now the thing is, if you have a newer phone like the S21 Plus, then you are gonna get some extra features such as some enhancements for the camera. But sadly, these aren't available for the S10 Plus. Anyways, I'm still very happy with this update because Samsung has updated their older phones that are 3 years old to the latest One UI 4.1, which is awesome. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. I hope you find this video to be helpful. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.